Specification The purifier you see is a typical fuel oil separator with a throughput of maximum 4 cubic meters per hour. The purifier feed pump takes suction from the fuel oil settling tank. The fuel is delivered to the fuel oil heater and three-way circulating valve to the purifier. The purified oil flows from the purifier outlet to the fuel oil service tank. The purifier and the feed pump can be started from the local control panel. The operating water tank is situated at a predetermined height. The water flow to the purifier is controlled by the valves. Before starting the purifier, you have to carry out a few checks. Checking whether the operating water level in the tank is full. Insufficient water in the operating water tank will lead to improper bowl closure. This results in loss of oil to the sludge space. Check whether the oil level in the gear case is up to the prescribed mark. If the oil level is low, it will lead to friction and damage to the moving parts. Check whether the brake is released. If the brakes are on, then the purifier will never achieve the rated speed and separation is hampered. Open the feed pump suction and delivery valves. If the feed pump is started with the suction valve closed, the pump will run dry and the bearings may seize. Check whether the heater inlet and outlet valves are open. Open back pressure regulating valve at the outlet of the purifier. If the oil is supplied without opening the back pressure valve, the oil will overflow from the water side. Start the purifier. The motor current increases to a maximum value. It gradually decreases to the rated current as the purifier attains the rated speed. Open the operating water to close the bowl. Open the sealing water until it flows from the water outlet. Check the desludging operation of the purifier. Shut the operating water cork. Open the desludging water cork for 5 seconds. And shut the cork. As soon as the bowl opens, you hear a thudding noise. The motor amperage rises at the start of desludging operation and then returns to its normal value. If the amperage does not rise, then it denotes that the bowl has not been opened for desludging. The fuel oil should be heated up before purification to reduce the viscosity as per maker's specification. Start the feed pump. Oil from the feed pump will circulate through the heater and the three-way valve back to the suction side of the pump. Open steam to oil heater. Too low or too high oil temperature results in breakage of water seal and loss of oil from the purifier. Open the operating water. Open the sealing water until it overflows from the water outlet. Open the oil feed by positioning the three-way feed valve to the purifier. The oil will displace part of the water inside the bowl through the water outlet. The purified oil flows from the purifier to the service tank. Set the back pressure as suggested in the manual either by throttling the discharge valve or by controlling the throughput. The back pressure is the pressure at the oil outlet of the purifier. Back pressure is essential for proper pumping of oil to the service tank.
and maintaining the water seal. Check temperature of the fuel oil. The fuel oil temperature is maintained in the range of 94 to 98 degrees centigrade according to the viscosity of the oil. If the temperature of the oil increases more than the boiling point of water, the water seal will break. This will result in oil overflow. Monitor the oil inlet pressure to the purifier. The inlet pressure will indicate the throughput. Decrease in the set inlet pressure indicates that the feed pump filters are dirty. The back pressure should remain the same as set while starting. If the back pressure decreases, it indicates oil overflow or oil leakage to the sludge side or decrease in the throughput. Check through the side glass that is located on the water outlet pipe. Only separated water should trickle out of the water outlet. Oil should not flow through the water outlet. Oil overflow will occur due to the loss of oil seal. Check the oil level in the gear case. Top up if necessary. Lack of lubricating oil will lead to friction and damage of the moving part. Shut the oil feed by positioning the three-way valve to the feed pump suction. Shut the steam inlet and the outlet valves to the heat and stop the feed pump. Open the sealing water. The water will displace the oil inside the bowl and overflow through the water outlet. Close the sealing water. If the sealing water is not opened, it results in loss of oil. Desludge the purifier to remove the sludge present in the bowl. If the desludging operation is not carried out, it entraps all residual sludge within the purifier. Stop the purifier after desludging. Close all fuel valves. If the valves are left open, it will lead to loss of fuel. 